Let's bring in my Sky News colleague, uh, former Labor Minister, Graeme Richardson. Richo, big couple of weeks ahead. It seems like a bit of the, the calm before the storm ahead of Parliament returning tomorrow. What's your overall sense of things as you look at the political landscape? Well, as, as the, at the moment, I think elbows in front. I think Labor's got a narrow lead, and that means the government's got to catch them. Uh, now, that's not beyond uh, Morrison. He's a wily warrior. Uh, he's been around a long time. He knows all the tricks of the trade, so you wouldn't write him off. But at this stage, um, and I, as, I know I want to believe it, and, and you say you try and remove your bias, um, I think uh, Albo's got his nose in front. The Prime Minister with a few big announcements today. Let's start with, with the aged care one, bringing in the, the military to support an embattled sector struggling for workers. As I mentioned earlier, um, some sources around this place within the Parliament have indicated to me that facilities face closure because of, of a lack of staff. There have been many shifts unfilled, now up to 1,700 members of the ADF providing some support, Richard. Yeah, but, I mean, th th these are Band-Aids. Um, you, you can't have the Army permanently based in aged care facilities. Um, that's just not going to work uh, for anyone. So you, you've got to say to yourself, uh, when they take the Band-Aid off, uh, which, you know, it can only last a week or two, what happens then? I, I really fear for this sector because we haven't trained enough people. There's no doubt about that. We are way short of the numbers that we need. And if we, you know, you can't catch up. If we think that we can just, oh, start training a whole bunch of them now, that's still going to leave you with a few years where things are going to be extremely grim in the sector. So I think we, we've, we've allowed things to get to a pretty nasty spot. And what we have to do now is work really hard and really quickly to, to start the fix. You can't fix it overnight, yeah. but you've got to start fixing it. And you've got to get underway with real momentum. And I, don't, I just don't see that, Kieran. Particularly with the demographic challenges facing the country, it's not going to get easier, Rich O. Um, that's the reality. No, it's, it's going to get tougher. And, and, I mean, that's been obvious for some time. And that's why you would have thought there'd have been some, some obvious planning done. You'd be able to see some structure in place to sort things out. But... You can't see anything. I mean, this has just crept up on the government. They've been asleep at the wheel. And now that they've, woke, they've woken up, the, the, the crash is about to happen and they don't know how to avoid the tree. The tree's right in front of them. The car's headed for it. They don't know how to swerve the wheel. So I, uh, I'm very worried about, uh, about the sector because I think, um, uh, you know, lives are in danger. Uh, and, and so is, is the, uh, the quality of life in danger for many people. And that's... That's something in a society like ours you should never see.